All right, so I don't have to tell you guys if you've been watching my videos. I'm a big fan of Odell Beckham Jr. To me, I think he's immortalized in Rams history. I'm not trying to take anything away from him, but and definitely not trying to diminish anything he did. But I kind of think, you know, since we've been watching number 15, the new number 15, Tutu Atwell took up five, and Demarcus Robinson, a new Robinson, came to L.A., kind of sat in the background, you know, 28-year-old receiver, now turned 29, and he just, he waited. He waited for his turn. I kept hearing great things about him at practice, like, he was showing up most of the receivers and was just so consistent. It was just week in and week out with his preparation. And now here we are going into week 17. And Demarcus Robinson feels like the 2023 spark that was Odell Beckham Jr. in the Super Bowl season. Now, the Rams, they struck gold. Odell Beckham Jr. became available. The Browns cut him. He went to the Rams. They ended up winning a Super Bowl. He was huge in the playoffs. And let me preface it by saying, before I get into this, Odell Beckham Jr.'s value, make no mistake about it, was mainly in the Super Bowl. He had a couple solid games in the regular season. But where he made his money, where he made his, his name for the Rams, and he wasn't just a big name because... Joe Namath wore the same jersey. Joe Namath didn't do anything with the Rams. So it's different when you have a big name and you come to the Rams and you don't do anything. And he came to the Rams and he won a Super Bowl. And the way he played down the stretch in those key and critical moments was what sent him to that whole immortality status. It's why Rams fans love him. Even the Rams fans that said he was locker room cancer, which, by the way, I told you you were wrong about that. All right. So I'm going on and on and on, but here's what I'm getting at. The 29-year-old Demarcus Robinson, he spent time with the Kansas City Chiefs. He spent time with the Ravens. He won a Super Bowl with the Chiefs, beating the 49ers, I might add. <clears throat> and last year, he caught a touchdown pass in the playoffs for the Baltimore Ravens when Lamar Jackson was out. All right, let's talk about it. Why do I think this is even close? Because you think about it, you look at OBJ, OBJ's fireworks. OBJ's a global brand. Demarcus Robinson looks awesome on TV. He looks bigger than six foot one. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't buy that he's six foot one. He looks like six foot three. But anyway, it's not the point. Point is, OBJ, big name, star, you know, had the big catch, had, you know, the hair. That was basically his trademark for a while. Everyone wanted to be just like OBJ. The, the one-hand catches and everything. Everyone started flipping out about the one-hand catch when OBJ had that game against Dallas. But Demarcus Robinson is the anti-OBJ. And the reason I say that is because he's not glitz and glamour. Now, the plays he makes might be. But this is a guy who... I mean, his career high in yards, he's never hit 500 yards in a season. That's DeMarcus Robinson. Has he gotten the opportunity? No. And I said it before the season, this guy has more experience than anybody on the outside. And he doesn't miss games. He's Mr. Reliable. That's why I really like the pickup. You can go back and watch it if you don't believe me. Um, But DeMarcus Robinson in the month of December, is his best month. 67 receptions, 810 yards, 10 touchdowns. For whatever reason, Demarcus Robinson, the, the light bulb goes on. And I don't even want to say that because I feel like he could have been doing this all year. But I also don't want to say that because I think Tutu Atwell is a great player too. I think the, the Rams have four really quality, high quality wide receivers. Obviously, some are a little bit better than others. Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup up here. But DeMarcus and Tutu can also, you know, blow the game up as well. Here's the thing. He's the anti-OBJ because he's not, you know, glitz and glamour and all that. And I'm not saying that's a knock on OBJ. But this is a guy who came to L.A., very underrated signing, bargain bin hunting, all of that. Not one complaint. We had Deshaun Jackson come to the Rams 
get some targets and have a pretty good bunch of games to start the season. And he wanted out when they were what? Seven and zero. Demarcus Robinson didn't say a word, despite the fact he didn't get a ball thrown his way until what week 10. So he is the definition of we, not me. First off, secondly, now he waited his turn, but now he's actually making the most out of it. He's really coming on strong. You look at his last few games, four games in a row. He's had over 40. I, I mean, I look at the guy and I just think, you know what? I think he's perfect for what the Rams are trying to do. He's everything you could ask for in number three or number four. And he's in a rhythm right now. He's scored touchdowns in four straight games. He's feeling it. And he has a huge chance this weekend against the Giants in the 16th game of the season. It would be the eighth game for Demarcus Robinson to do a few things that I'm going to talk about. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this, how he matches up with OBJ. OBJ played eight games with the Los Angeles Rams in the regular season. He caught 27 out of 48 targets for 305 yards, 11.3 yards per reception average, five touchdowns, and a 56.3 catch percentage. He had five touchdowns. Okay, so that's what OBJ had. Now, Demarcus Robinson, seven games, 20 of 29 targets caught, 279 yards, a 13.95 yards per reception average, and four touchdowns with a 69% catch percentage rate. So Robinson in the same amount of games as OBJ this weekend, he'll hit eight just like OBJ had. He'll go over him if he plays week 18, of course, assuming he does. Robinson will pass OBJ in receptions if he gets eight more. So if he has eight receptions this weekend, he's passed OBJ in his first eight games as a Ram. He'll also pass OBJ in receiving yards. He needs 27 more to pass OBJ in receiving yards and passing in, you know, passing him in touchdowns. He would need two more and tying him. You need one more. The point is, if you look, the stats are eerily similar. Demarcus Robinson is without a doubt the Odell Beckham Jr. of 2023. But there are some things he does better than OBJ. And I want to get into that as well. Before I do get into that, I just want to let you know, OBJ was 5-3 and three in those eight games with the Rams in the regular season. Obviously, I know he played in playoffs. Robinson is 5-2 and two in the seven games he's been utilized. He's tied his career high in receiving touchdowns, and if he gets 80, 188 more yards in the next two games, he will have his career high in receiving yards. So both of these guys were 28 coming into their respective seasons, becoming Rams. They turned 29 the latter half of the season. The thing that I want to point out is this. Demarcus Robinson, he blocks so damn well. OBJ is not a bad blocker, but that's not his main thing. OBJ is more highlight reel. If you're looking for more of explosion, the superstardom, OBJ is your guy. Now, obviously, OBJ now is 31 years old. The point is, OBJ was 28 the year he was going into when he went to the Rams, turned 29, and the same thing is happening with Rob, uh, you know, Demarcus Robinson. But the fact is that OBJ just, he's a solid blocker. He's not great. I'm not saying he like DeMarcus is great just to say it sounds good, right? Like people like using the word great greatness, you know, greatness and great just feel different nowadays. People just use great so often. And, you know, the word is kind of almost devalued. No, no, no. This guy is great at blocking. First off, the tape shows it. So if you haven't watched his tape, definitely go and, you know, NFL plus or whatever, all 20 to it. Uh, he, he can block. But if, you know, you don't want to watch his tape, you'd just rather get the stats from me. Uh, PFF, minimum of 30% of the most snaps in the league. So that's around 390, we'll say, run blocking snaps. Minimum 30% of that. This is only accounting players that have had 30% of that. In 2021, 
OBJ was 80th in overall run blocker grade, according to PFF. Guess where Demarcus Robinson is? He's 14th. 14th. The purpose of this video is not to trash Odell Beckham Jr. Like I said, the man, the man is immortalized in history, in Rams history. He's one of my all-time favorite players in any sport. I own his jersey. Um, I, I mean, it is absolutely not to trash him. The point of this and the purpose of this is to force the attention on Demarcus Robinson, which is it rightful attention on him. He's seemingly been the 2023 version of OBJ. I, I mean, he was here all along. We could get into that. That's a whole other conversation to have. Why was he not out there before? But he's out there now. You see his value. You see his worth. Also, before you even get into that, you have to also assume he had to develop this chemistry with Stafford in practices. And now that he has it, Stafford seems comfortable relying on him. This is somebody bigger body, 6'1", 200 pounds, can find that soft spot in the zone, kind of sit there, bigger target for Stafford on the run than, say, a 2-2 Atwell at 5'9", buck 60. Um, no knock on Atwell. Love Atwell, but that's just the fact. Um, he is a better blocker than Atwell, and Atwell is a really good blocker. I don't think people realize how good of a blocker uh, Atwell is, but Atwell is a very good blocker. Um, he's in, I believe the top 30, the last, yeah, the last I checked, he was in the top 30. Uh, so he's really good. All the Rams are in the top 30, all, all four of those guys. Um, Puganaku is second for those of you who didn't know, but anyway, right now, Robinson is the spark. He is the spark for this offense. He's not the engine. The engine is Kyron Williams. He's not the captain. The captain is Matthew Stafford, the point guard, Matthew Stafford, the guy that spreads it all around. He's not Cooper Cup, all reliable. You throw it to Cooper Cup, he's likely going to come down with it. Most reliable receiver on the team. He's not Puka Nakua, who's the thunder. And he's not Tutu Atwell when utilized. He's lightning. He is the spark. When you need a first down or a third down or you need something, this is what Robinson's been doing. You need a nice block. You need a guy to actually show some effort down the field, get to the second level. Demarcus Robinson. And that's what we've seen from him. My only thing I'll say, as we get into the playoffs, whether the Rams make it or not, which I think they're going to, so I'll just keep saying when we get into the playoffs. Demarcus Robinson, I want to see him utilized with Tutu Atwell, with Cooper Cup, with Puka Nakua. I want to see them use all four receivers at a, at a decent rate. I think they could be really, really scary if they had Tutu Atwell on the field more. I mean, find a way to get all four of them involved. At the same time, don't fix what's not broken. And this offense is far from broken. It's the best offense right now in the league, uh, I, I would say. You know, when you have, and, and the, the metrics show it, they're first in every category when Kyron, Puka, Cooper, and Matthew Stafford are all on the field at the same time. Every single thing, EPA, yards, touch, what you name it. So... The, you know, what I'll say is this. Does Demarcus Robinson come back next year? I don't know. I don't know. This is a contract year just like it was for OBJ. Okay? We don't know what's going to happen. But he's reliable. I wouldn't mind him back. I would definitely like him back. But it does kind of show you. And it does make you wonder long term. Because this video is just as much as giving Robinson credit and steering the attention towards him as it is kind of shedding light on what could be the future here for the Rams receiver room. What's the deal with Atwell? It does make you wonder. I'm a huge Atwell fan. I'm not pushing him out the door. But it does make you wonder the way they've pivoted to a six foot one, 200 pound receiver. They got six foot two cup. They got six foot one Nakua. It makes you wonder if they prefer that size. They prefer the size advantage. The bigger body. Maybe that's a Stafford thing. I don't know. But it makes you wonder. And it and it adds intrigue to the future. And now we have, you know, this role, essentially. I mean, OBJ was 5'11". But this role, essentially, is a decent role. This is the OBJ role. But he's doing more blocking. 
at a, at a better clip, I would say. I really think that right now this Rams team is ahead of schedule for a lot of people um, because they didn't think they'd be this good. I thought they would be this good going into the season. But they've gotten to a point where I think they're not quite where they want to be. I mean, like I said in another video, Stafford wanted to score 40, thought they could score 40 in the Saints game, and they could have. Once they start scoring those, those field goals turn into touchdowns, no one is going to be able to beat them. And this offense isn't going anywhere. Puka's under, you know, Puka's under contract. He's a rookie. Four years, at, the, at least. Three or four. I think it's three because he's a fifth rounder. Might be four. Um, Cooper Cup, under contract. Matthew Stafford, under contract. Kyron Williams, going into his third year. He'll be fine. I mean, Demarcus Robinson, you bring him back, you know, whatever you figure that out. But for the most part, the nucleus is there and they're going to be around for a while. So get, get ready, but switching gears guys, I miss OBJ just like everyone else. And he had himself a game against the Rams, but Demarcus Robinson, surprisingly enough has kind of replaced OBJ. They didn't do it last year, but last year we didn't really get a chance to see what the offense would have looked like if they were healthy. This year, this Robinson, and I like Allen Robinson, but we've seen him in Pittsburgh. This Robinson's better than Allen Robinson right now. This Demarcus Robinson guy could be, I'm just going to say it right now, if the Rams end up winning a game that they look like they're going to lose, and Robinson's the one that comes down with the game-winning touchdown, don't be surprised. He's been clutch. They've been able to do things that they weren't able to do with Tutu Atwell, including that over-the-middle throw in the end zone against the Saints. I'm just telling you right now, sometimes those unsung heroes, they step up in a big way. That's why I call him the anti-OBJ, because he's filling in that slot. His numbers are very similar, but no one was looking at OBJ like an unsung hero. OBJ is stardom in a nutshell his brand is bigger than most people demarcus robinson plays like that but he doesn't get the credit that might change and we're gonna see against the giants he's got an opportunity he's got a huge opportunity coming up against the 49ers after this week and then come the playoffs which he's already scored a touchdown right in front of a national audience uh, last year in the playoffs, last season in the playoffs for the Ravens. He scored and had a breakout game in a national audience stage against the Saints on Thursday Night Football. Everyone saw it. Who knows? Maybe he's emerging before our eyes. Maybe he's a late bloomer. Maybe the fact is that the Chiefs should have used him more, and they didn't. And he's just one of those guys that he just kind of gets passed around. No one uses him, and then finally he gets to that one location and takes off who knows that's all i got for you guys do you guys think he is kind of the obj of this offense do you, do you think he's the obj of 2023 let me know in the comment section below am i crazy also let me know in the comment section below but appreciate you guys we are growing like crazy on this channel Twenty-two thousand subscribers i want to thank you guys so much that went up by 200 uh not long after 200 subscribers on a day where there was no games being played um, on a day where there was no draft. There's no draft content. It's it's incredible. Really appreciate you guys. Normally, those days are when I'm not surprised to see a spike, but uh, you guys apparently like the videos. I mean, both videos went over 10K um, views. You know, they're doing well. The playoff video, I think, hit 20. So, you know, really appreciate you guys. And, uh I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Um, before I go, real quick, if anyone has anyone that they know, I'd love to do a organized meetup, not charge anyone anything or anything like that, but organized meetup at the MetLife Stadium Rams-Giants game this Sunday. I don't know how to do it. I don't know who to talk to, who to organize it with. I know tailgates charge money. I'm not shaming them for doing it. I just don't want to be like, hey, come meet me over here, and then you have to pay a $40 cover fee or whatever. So if anyone knows anybody that I can talk to or whatever, 
uh, send them my way, my DMs, whatever, at JK Bogan on all social media. Um, I'm just trying to get it together. I've had a lot of emails from you guys. A lot of different people have reached out like, hey, I'm going to the game. How do we do a meetup? I want to do a J live meetup, you know, hang out with the community. I want to do that too. I'm so down for it. Um, I'm going to be with a party of five, including myself. So I don't want to throw them into it necessarily if they don't want to be a part of it. But um, I do want to do that before the game. I just need to know. So if anyone has any details or anything of the sort, um, you know, where we could do it, that would be great. I'm not trying to do it off site. I'm not trying to do it at a bar or anything like that. I'm going early in the morning from upstate New York, about three hours away. I'm going to MetLife and, you know, trying to get there early, you know, and get there around maybe 10 and tailgate, you know, until the game starts at one. I'm not trying to go into New York City. So if there is a spot, you know, certain lot to go to or whatever, please let me know. I have my DMs open again. You guys are welcome to reach out. Um, in the Discord, I have a channel set up specifically for meetups. So when I have more details on this whole meetup thing, we can use that channel in the meantime just to kind of locate everybody, uh, anybody that wants to give their location where they are when they you know go to the game and want to meet up. So uh, kind of a long spiel there, but important to throw out there. So if anyone's interesting and wants to help me out, knows anybody that's going to a certain lot, their tailgate's free, um, you know, just to be around and everything. And I could just say, Hey, meet us here. I'm not trying to steal your thunder. I just need a spot, kind of a landmark essentially. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm also down to hang out with the tailgate. <laughs> so let me know. Um, appreciate you guys. That'll be probably the last thing I say. Yeah, I think that's it. So appreciate you guys uh, for tuning in as always. And, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Later, folks. You start playing Pick'em or Weekly Fantasy for any sport today, Jake. Users will receive a 100% deposit match up to $100 if they use promo code OTE at sign up. Start playing Pick'em and Weekly Fantasy Football today with Underdog Fantasy. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.